Fox News Hour with the latest efforts to end the eight-year war in Yemen. A delegation from Saudi Arabia has arrived in the Yemeni capital, Sana'a. Oman is mediating the discussions about a permanent ceasefire. Iran and Saudi Arabia are fighting each other in Yemen, but now that the two are looking to shake hands, chances of a direct impact on the Yemen war are pretty high. Biden's diplomatic gamble, a call with Saudi Arabia to end the Yemen war. President Biden's latest diplomatic gamble in the Middle East. White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan spoke by phone with Saudi Arabian Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, also known as MBS. This phone call came amid encouraging signs that the Saudis and Iran allied Houthis in Yemen are making significant progress towards finding a permanent end to their nine-year conflict. This is a top priority for the Biden administration which has made finding a permanent peace among its highest priorities in the Middle East. Welcome to Economic Echoes, the channel that brings you the latest news and analysis on the most pressing economic, geopolitical, and financial issues of our time. If you're interested in staying up to date on the latest trends and developments in these areas, then you've come to the right place. But before we dive into today's video, we want to take a moment to invite you to join our community of engaged and informed viewers. By hitting that like button, subscribe, and turn on notification bell button by this, you'll never miss content as we dive into the most pressing issues of our time. So, let's dive in. The Houthis seized Sinaia in 2014 and forced the internationally recognized government into exile in Saudi Arabia. A Saudi-led coalition, armed with U.S. weaponry and intelligence, entered the war on the side of Yemen's exiled government in 2015. Years of inconclusive fighting created a humanitarian disaster and pushed the Arab world's poorest nation to the brink of famine. Overall, the war has killed more than 150,000 people, including over 14,500 civilians, according to the Armed Conflict Location Event Data Project. The phone call between Sullivan and MBS followed a visit by Saudi diplomat Mohammed bin Saeed al Jaber to the Houthi held Yemeni capital Sana'a for talks aimed at accelerating negotiations on ending the war. The call is also significant as MBS has had a strained relationship with President Biden over human rights and oil production concerns. As a candidate for the White House, Biden vowed that Saudi rulers would pay the price under his watch for their human rights record. However, in July, amid rising prices at the pump around the globe, Biden decided to pay a visit to Saudi Arabia where he greeted the crown prince, whom he once shunned, with a fist bump. Relations between the two hit another rocky patch last fall when the president said there would be consequences for Saudi Arabia as OPEC plus alliance moved to cut oil production. At the time, the administration said it was re-evaluating its relationship with the kingdom in light of the oil production cut that White House officials said was helping another OPEC plus member. Russia softened the financial blow caused by U.S. and Western sanctions imposed on Moscow for its ongoing war in Ukraine. Recently, the Riyadh-led OPEC alliance announced it would cut oil production by 1.1 million barrels per day, or roughly 1% of global production, beginning next month. The Saudis have said the production cuts were precautionary helping to keep up prices as the world economy appears to be slowing and demand for oil is dropping. However, along with cuts announced in October, world oil supplies are down by 3%. April's announcement could have a ripple effect on the U.S. economy in the form of higher gasoline prices, possibly forcing the Federal Reserve to be more aggressive in rate hikes to lower inflation. Despite the rocky relationship, Biden's top national security advisor decided to talk with MBS amid encouraging signs of winding down the long and bloody war in Yemen. The call largely focused on Yemen, but they also discussed Saudi Arabia and Iran's re-establishment of diplomatic ties, Iran's nuclear program, and other issues. The official said Sullivan and MBS discussed macroeconomic issues but did not dwell on the OPEC move. Biden's special envoy for Yemen, Tim Lenderking, is being dispatched to the Saudi capital Riyadh this week for follow-up talks with Saudi officials, the official said. CIA Director William Burns traveled to Saudi Arabia last week to meet with intelligence officials. 
White House officials note significant progress. As we wrap up this video, we want to hear from you. Do you think that the phone call between Jake Sullivan and MBS could lead to a permanent end to the Yemen war? Or do you think there are still too many obstacles to overcome? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you found it informative and thought-provoking. We value your opinion and would love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Your feedback will help us to create more relevant and engaging content for you in the future. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel and turning on the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. By subscribing, you'll never miss out on any new content that we produce. Lastly, if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. Your likes help our video to rank higher in the YouTube algorithm, which means that more people will be able to find and benefit from our content. Thank you again for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the comment section and the future videos.